Many of us are familiar with famous landmarks like the Statue of Liberty, Big Ben, and the White House. Even if you haven't been to these places, you've probably seen pictures, but sometimes even tourists don't get to see all the secret places hidden in famous locations. Did you know the Statue of Liberty has hidden rooms? And the White House has a hidden trap door under the Oval Office desk? Prepare to be amazed by this list of 10 secret places hidden in famous locations. Amazing! Number 10. Abandoned Island at Disney World Today, Disney World has four parks, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Magic Kingdom. But they used to have a fifth one, located on an island in the middle of the other parks. It was originally opened in 1974 as Treasure Island, but they later changed the name to Discovery. It was a wildlife theme park, closed in 1999 when Disney opened Animal Kingdom and decided their visitors were probably pretty saturated with singing animals at that point. Since then, the island was pretty much forgotten about until 2009, when an urban explorer named Shane Perez somehow evaded Disney security and swam over to the island one night. He explored for a while, taking pictures of empty cages, reptiles preserved in jars, and old employee photos taken at the park. For his trouble, Disney threatened to ban him from their parks forever. They briefly considered reopening the island as a new park, but those plans have also apparently been preserved for now. Meanwhile, on the other coast, Disneyland has its own secret location, a members-only club for adults called 33. It's the only place in the park that serves alcohol, but the fee to join is $10,000 plus a $3,500 yearly fee. Even Scrooge McDuck might balk at that price. Pluck my tail feathers and call me Baldy. Number 9. Statue of Liberty The Statue of Liberty is a lady with secrets, including a room under her feet. The statue's foundation is constructed on top of Fort Wood, which was built in 1807. The fort was later entirely filled in with concrete to support the statue. A few years ago, crews were building a new staircase for visitors to use in an emergency, and they discovered a doorway to a secret room, so they stopped immediately and let historians take a look. No one is sure what the room was for, but it may have been used to hold powder during the foundation's days as a fort. Further up, the statue has another secret room, inside the torch. It was closed in 1916 when German spies blew up a nearby munitions depot, damaging parts of the torch. The damage was repaired, but the room has remained closed to the public ever since due to safety concerns. Number 8. The White House We've all heard stories about secret spaces and tunnels under the White House. Some of these may be exaggerated, but there are some hidden places in the famous building at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in the 1940s, just after Pearl Harbor. Then President Franklin Delano Roosevelt authorized the building of a bomb shelter under the East Wing. Today, modern presidents have their own secret trap doors for security reasons. In 2010, the press became curious about a building project outside the West Wing. It was kept secret for a while, but finally then-President Barack Obama revealed they were building a new underground command center. The old one, situated under the East Wing, was accessible through a trap door directly under the President's desk in the Oval Office. The Oval had to be vacated for a few days so the trap door could be modified to reach the new underground command center under the West Wing. As for the current President, there is no telling where he hides his secret stash of spare toupees. Number 7. Abandoned Terminal at JFK If you've ever visited JFK Airport, you may have noticed one terminal that doesn't appear to have any traffic. This winged roof terminal is the Trans World Airlines Flight Center, which was built in 1962. In 2001, TWA folded and the terminal has been empty since then. Over the years since, there were various plans proposed to make the terminal everything from a restaurant to an aviation museum but none ever materialized. One thing is for sure, it probably won't be an airline terminal again, as JetBlue built its own massive terminal around the TWA one, even demolishing part of it. Number 6. Secrets Under Grand Central Station The famous Waldorf Astoria Hotel has always been known for its high-class push image. Built directly over the Grand Central Station rail lines, the hotel is conveniently close to the train station, but in 1929, someone decided that celebrities needed a secret entrance to avoid what passed for paparazzi in those days. They built a secret train platform below the hotel, 
so VIPs could take a train directly there instead of entering through the front door with all the peasants. It was most notably used by President Franklin Roosevelt in 1944, although his aim was to hide the fact he was in a wheelchair. By the 1960s, the platform had fallen out of use, and squatters were living in the underground space. Eventually, it was walled off and closed to the public, but the train itself still sits under the hotel. Grand Central has more than one secret location hidden beneath the streets of New York City, though. The underground Vanderbilt Tennis Club is owned by none other than Donald Trump and is open to the public, if you can afford to pay $200 an hour in fees. Number 5. Mount Rushmore Mount Rushmore is known for its gigantic carvings of four former presidents' faces, but it hides a secret vault. The architect behind Mount Rushmore, Guten Borglum, died while it was being built, and his secret chamber wasn't finished until the 1990s. Today, the Titanium Vault contains the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, and the biography of Borglum. This hall is closed to the public because this is America and someone would probably knock over the glass case containing the Bill of Rights trying to take a selfie. Number 4. Niagara Falls If you visited Niagara Falls, you probably took some selfies by the waterfalls, but did you know you were close to the Cave of Evil Spirits? Down the road from the waterfall, there's a small limestone cave by this name. A Seneca Indian's legend tells the story of an evil spirit that became trapped in this cave. It is said that anyone who visits the cave will be cursed with a life of misfortune, kind of like everyone who failed to buy stock in Google 20 years ago. If you don't want a haunted cave experience, you can also travel behind the falls through two portals. The halls are lined with pictures from Niagara's history, and when you get to the end, you can watch the water falling past a cave opening, which is crusted over with ice, in case you didn't get chilled enough hearing about the haunted cave. I just wish it was the Bat Cave, though. They really missed a trick there. Number 3. The Eiffel Tower The Eiffel Tower is a famous European landmark, but most people don't know about the luxury apartment at the top of it. It's stylishly decorated and opened to the public in 2015. Originally, Designer Gustav Eiffel designed it to be an apartment and laboratory for himself. He entertained famous scientific leaders there, including Thomas Edison. Meanwhile, below the tower are more secret rooms, which were utilized by the Gestapo for torturing members of the French resistance during World War II. Somehow, that piece of history gets left off the tour guide spiel a lot. Number 2. Tower of London Secret Pub The Tower of London isn't actually a tower but a 900-year-old castle that has historically been used as a fortress and even a hideout for gangsters. Today, it's the home of the Yeoman Warriors, or Beef Eaters, the red garb ceremonial guardians of the castle. They mostly act as tour guides today, but many people don't know they live inside the castle grounds with their families. To serve the Yeoman Warriors and their kin, there's a secret pub hidden somewhere on the grounds. It's open to the public only by invitation, so you can't just show up, wink at a guard, and get directions. No word on whether they admit vegetarians. Number 1. Prison Room in Big Ben While we're in London, there's a secret place hidden in another famous location, Big Ben. About a third of the way up the tower, around 114 steps, you'll find the prison room. It hasn't been used much lately, but it was previously where MPs in breach of codes of conduct were imprisoned. The last time it was used was in 1880. Recently elected MP Charles Bradlow refused to swear allegiance to Queen Victoria on the Bible, due to him being an atheist, so he was locked in the prison room overnight. But these days, the only thing being imprisoned there is dust. What's your favorite secret about a famous place? Do you know of any others that we may have missed? I'd be interested to hear what you think in the comments section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and make sure to subscribe to stay notified. You don't want to miss out on any more amazing information. Thanks for watching.